Well, Thomas Partey is one of those Arsenal fans who's less vocal when it comes to doing media interviews. You rarely see him out on a media interview. But for this occasion, after Arsenal beat Bournemouth by three goals to two, he had to come out and really speak about that game of football, having been the man who pioneered the comeback of Arsenal by scoring the first goal of the game that brought them back or put them in the equation or permutation to get back into this play has come out and really revealed Arsenal's winning secret or magic and he has gone ahead to dedicate that goal to his late late ex-national teammate known as Christian Atsu. Welcome to the Yasno News Show, 100% discussing Asno. Rock and Media Football is the YouTube channel. Smash the like button, comment, and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, lower right bottom corner is the place to be. We are talking about Gwen Tijaka giving Mikel his flowers on how he has gone ahead to change the training sessions at Asno, the food they eat that have really put them to the next level of of physicality and thinking guys if you never knew the food you eat determines what you're thinking and what your next day is going to be about and lastly Romeo Lavia is one of those players that Arsenal is really tracking and Fabrizio Romano has issued an update on that player Romeo Lavia playing for a team known as Southampton now let's get into this as we roll Thomas Partey has talked to the independent and this is what he had to say about their spirited fight they put up against a side known as Bournemouth he said I think it is the spirit it is the spirit of never giving up the belief that we have in the team the belief that the fans have in us is pushing us game after game. I think we have this I think we are deserved every win that we have had this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are some wins that they are deserved that they never got because of not really being clinical. But Thomas Pat is talking about the spirit of never giving up. Now, when you talk about the spirit of never giving up, this was one of the things that were parallel with Arsenal for the previous seasons. Even when Arsene Wenger was here, Arsenal used to play well, distribute that ball very well, knock it around well. But if at all they go a goal down, all two goals down, you never expected Arsenal to really make a comeback. But this season, Arsenal has made tremendous comebacks. The first comeback was against Fulham when they went one goal down. They came back and won that game by two goals to one. The other one was against Aston, Aston Villa. Arsenal scored all got the lead through Gabio Jesus and then uh, Douglas Lewis scored a corner and it was 1-1. One, one. Then I think it was Gabio Martinelli scored in the 85th minute to win that beautiful game of football. The other comeback was at uh, was against Manchester United. They made a very good comeback. Then against Aston Villa, they also made a good comeback. And this time round, they made a comeback when they are two goals down. Arsenal this season had only come back when they are two goals down. At Manchester United, when they lost 3-1, they were two goals down. They never came back. At City, it was 3-1. They never came back. Even at Everton, when it was 1-0, they never came back. But yesterday, or on Saturday, Arsenal showed us the spirit of never giving up for the fifth time. And uh, I believe it's something that shows the hallmarks of a champion. Champion quality. That's what I'm calling it. Arsenal is showing us champion quality, champion resiliency, champion, <clears throat> champion, champion ruthlessness, and that comeback from two goals down to really level up the game after being sent into shock by Bournemouth, conceding in the first minute of the game. And then they fought back with Thomas Partner leading the comeback. That is something great. He said about the belief that they have as a team, the belief the fans have in us. Guys, Let's talk about the belief that Arsenal fans are really having their players. You get, even when it was to nil, Arsenal fans were screaming, Arsenal, 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 Arsenal. I was saying, oh my God. <laughs> you get, because they knew that the best way to get these players back is by cheering them to the max. And they did it, and it really paid off. Thomas Pat is talking about every, every win they've got this season they deserved it. And I believe their wins they deserved that they never got. Against City, that game that ended 3-2, if Arsenal converts its chances, 
There is no way City comes near Arsenal. <clears throat> Against Southampton, that game that ends 1-1, Jesus missed out on like two chances. Odegaard missed out. Very many chances of Arsenal were missed out. And Southampton got only one chance. They hit Arsenal on the break and they leveled the game. Uh, for the game of Everton, they deserve to lose. They deserve to lose. For the game of Manchester United at Old Trafford, I think there was a decision that never went their way when Martinelli scored in the 13th minute and obviously United overturned the game of football. But I think they had all the minutes to win this game. But they lacked, <coughs> they lacked that clinicalness into the final third of the opponent. Which other game has Arsenal lost? Against Newcastle, I think they deserve to win. They were some two, three calls of penalties. VAR really denied them like they did in the game of Bournemouth. But you'll go out and say, yes, the referee turned down two penalties when the ball was got held by the players of Newcastle. How come the referee went ahead and really turned down four penalties and then you went ahead and really won that beautiful game of football? That is something that you need to know as a player of Arsenal right now. So, parte is talking about deserved wins, but there, there are all those deserved wins that they never got the other the other games that they really went ahead to play. Then Partey went ahead to say the following on the result they got yesterday that I think this will raise the spirit of the team and of the fans to keep on supporting. This is football that we all want to play. The fans of Arsenal are really amazing. To me, Liverpool has been talked about as one of those stadiums whose atmosphere is really on point and you don't want to go there and play against them. But I think the atmosphere at Emirates has really turned around positively. It's one of the most highly supported teams at home. That's why they rallied their, their players to go all out and play very well when they are playing this team known as, known as Bournemouth. And obviously Thomas Partey is hinting about that. Now, he also went ahead to dedicate his goal. He also went ahead to dedicate his goal to the late player to the late player that he played with at the Ghanaian national team known as known as uh, <clears throat> known as uh, what's his name Christian Atsu who died in the earthquake that was down in where in Turkey right <laughs> that's the earthquake that really took away his life and Pate said I think this will raise the spirit this is not the case guys it's not really I'm talking about Christian Atsu. Where is it? 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 All right. Here it is. Here it is. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but Pate had the following to say about Atsu. He said, I wish I could get the chance to dedicate this to him, we all saw that we have to believe, and I believe that I dedicated the goal to him. At the end, I'm happy. I wish that he rests well in peace. That is Thomas Partey wishing all paying a tribute to the fallen Ghanaian player known as Christian Atsu. And this is how Thomas Partey really bidded farewell to the player known as Christian Atsu, and that is what he had onto his inner put into the jersey rest well christian atsu that is what thomas Partey did and the entire world got the message very very well that is thomas Partey for you now that's Partey revealing the arsenal magic for the triumphs they are getting this season now there is the other player known as grant jaka he has gone ahead and revealed to us what has changed at arsenal and why they are really rentless and trying to beat every team he says if you see us on the training pitch today, day by day, how much we care, how much we work, it starts, it starts with everything. Mikel Ateta changed the food. He changed a lot of food. Our body fat dropped massively. They are small details where in the end are massive. Now, Jaka is hailing Mikel Ateta for what he has going to hate to do. Every elite manager changes the food of the players 
that they feed or they eat. Why do they have to change the food? Because the food is responsible for your well functioning of your body. And as it stands, Ronaldo is one of the players that has gone ahead to orchestrate this and proves that it has really worked. Look at Ronaldo. He's going to 40 years, but he is competing at the highest level possible. That is Cristiano Ronaldo for you. And I believe this is why many teams and coaches have really gone ahead to draw a theory on the diet. Even Eric Ten Hag told his players that you need to eat this and this and this and this because <coughs> the food you eat is responsible for the injuries you get, your joints, you get like meat. If I told you to eat a lot of meat, you are so much exposed on to getting knee joint injuries. You get? So, players eat a lot of fish. They eat a lot of uh, chicken. Um, they eat a lot of greens and vegetables. You get? Take a lot of water, juice, and your resting mode. So, Xhaka is proving to us that Mikel Ateta is doing, doing a lot of things at Arsenal and is hinting about the source of change. And these are things that Mikel Ateta learned from Pep Guardiola at City. And that shows you the levels at which he has gone ahead to elevate the team of Arsenal. Because he has, he has been at a team that has been doing this for a very, very long time. And there we go. He's trying to really mirror what was at City that enabled City <clears throat> to be having their players fit all the time and being relentless and resilient in the game every time. He's talking about burning down and reducing the fat in their bodies. Yes, he's right, because the moment <clears throat> you're having lots of fats in your bodies, you can't run. Your fitness levels will always, always, always not meet the your opponents. So the best thing to do is to burn down those fats and obviously have a lot of beef onto you and water in your body. That helps you not to lose out on anything while you're playing a beautiful game of football. So that is another secret that Xhaka has revealed to Sky Sports as to why Mikel Arteta is the most important person that has turned around everything at the club of Arsenal. There is this 19-year-old midfielder known as Lavia. Arsenal is tracking him and Fabrizio Romano has finally given his update about the player. Fabrizio has told us via the court of side that nothing has changed for Lavia. At the moment, it's normal to see big clubs like Arsenal link because he's a top talent. But there is nothing concrete at this stage. I expect he would cost more than £40 million because that's the buy back close option for City. He's really, he's really impressive. I saw him over the weekend and he's really playing very well. And the moment you are 19 and you're attracting attention from teams like Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, and very many others, it shows you how good you are. You know, in the game of football, at this level, there is no bribing. There is no cheating. <laughs> That's it. There is no cheating. What you put out on the field of play is the one that really puts you on the levels of really being being called out by the teams that are really in the elite class. If Atoli was scouted by Tottenham Hotspur, Newcastle, uh, Brighton, all right, would have said he's a very good player, very good prospect for the future. But Arsenal, United coming in for you at the age of 19, it shows you how good you are. That means he's one of the best CDMs in the Premier League because Mikel Ateta is really having a lot to do in the summer. And when you look at a player like him, that Arsenal is picking interest in him, it just shows you how the plan of Arsenal is after the coming in of Jorginho. That means Mikel Arteta might be ready not to go in for players like Declan Rice for £80 million because he knows he's already having two players who can play that position. That is Jorginho and Thomas Partey for this season. And then he will go in for a 19-year-old that is going to come in through and really play, play sometimes for that Arsenal side act as a Sambi Lokonga, and I believe he's like a Sambi Lokonga replacement. The moment we see Arsenal going in for this player, that means Sambi Lokonga is going to be put onto the... He's going to be put in the shop window to be really sold in the summer. And I think Patrick Vieira is so much, so much a fan of Albert Sambi Lokonga, and he loves watching him play, and he loves his job. So, guys, I believe the transfer of Arsenal, the plan might change into... 
Arsenal bringing in Lavia because he's 19, knowing that in the next two seasons he'll be one of the proven midfielders in the Premier League because Pate and Jorginho might have really called quits for Arsenal. And then Arsenal will go in and resign really any midfielder they want in the next two or three years. But that means Ateta is really eyeing for other three players like a right attacking midfielder to act as a competitive to, sorry to provide to provide that competitive edge to Bukayo Saka then uh, the other player is uh, a center forward to me and a granite jaka competitor i think those will be four signings that Mikel Arteta might make if at all he goes in for Lavia then that means the clan rice is not coming or Kesido. and obviously Arsenal will sell Albert Sambilokonga according to me if Lavia comes in through because Albert Sambilo Konga is 22, Lavia is 21, is, Lavia is 19, and he has proven it all at Southampton. Unless otherwise Sambilo Konga has a very brilliant season at Crystal Palace, then Arsenal will change its plan of really signing Lavia. So guys, your thoughts on Thomas Party revealing Arsenal's winning magic are welcome in the comment section below. Jaka hailing, hailing Mikel Ateta that he's the epitome He's at the epitome of all changes that have really happened at Arsenal through the deity and everything. And lastly, Lavia, would you go for him? Because Arsenal has shown pure interest in him. Thank you for watching in Rokani Media Football. Smash the like button, comment, and share. If you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in on a daily. May the Almighty God bless you abundantly. I sign out for now, guys. See you later. Good. It's good afternoon, right? Good afternoon, my mate.